So I'm just trimming these apple cider soap bars and they smell so good that uh, the fragrance I used is Comfort and Joy from Nurture Soap and it is strong, it smells wonderful. I thought it smelled like apple cider, so that's what I'm calling these. But um, anyway, these are two days after cutting. Uh, no, actually, well, two days after making, that's what they are. I made these two days ago, cut them yesterday, let them sit overnight, and they're nice and hard for stamping today. So a lot of people ask how long I wait, and it really depends on the soap, the different ingredients, um, the recipe that I'm using, and how firm the bars are. If they're very soft, like a Castile or Bastille bar, I'm going to wait several days or longer before I clean them up and stamp them, but um, this happens to be a particularly firm bar of soap and I did use some sodium lactate in there and they're plenty ready to stamp. Actually I'm going to have to bang pretty hard to get them stamped today. I could have done them yesterday. So typically what I do is unmold after 18 to 24 hours and cut right when I unmold and let them just sit on a little wire rack like this for a few hours and I go off and do something else and maybe get another batch of soap ready to go um, and then I'll come back after a few hours and clean them up and stamp them. I just want them to have a little bit of time to get the surface area dry uh, and that's usually good enough for me and then if it is a softer soap, it's not quite as firm. I just am gentle with the stamp. I'll do one gentle tap um, and if they're really firm like these, you'll see it's going to take a couple of good hard whacks to get that stamp imprinted in there the way I want. And even when they're firm like this, I do still spray with 91% rubbing alcohol um, after about every, you know, four to six stamps, I will go ahead and spritz the stamp again. I just feel like it releases a little better since I've been doing that. So that's just how I do it. It's not required, but that is the way I do it. So I'm just getting these all cleaned up and I've had so many questions I figured I'd just bring you all along. And the stamp that I have, um, I got it from Etsy. The guy is in Hungary, so he's out of my country but it uh, it came you know relatively quickly it was really easy transaction um, I just sent him my logo in digital format and he sent me a uh, picture of exactly what it would look like and the exact measurements of it and um, I was very happy I gave him the green light and got my stamp it's called um, with the capital D digital letter to or number two uh, create and it's C-R-E and the number 8 and that is his Etsy page um, and he does different kind of stamps I got the one specifically for soap and I'll show you here I'll set this off to the side <clears throat> it has a little bit taller letters I think um, like a rubber stamp that you're using with an ink pad would probably be a different surface this is a really hard like resin plastic and they're they're taller so that it has some room to sink into the soap now I definitely don't stamp all the way where it sinks down to the base I, I don't want my impression that deep just want enough where you can read it nice and um sorry I'm holding it upside down and I chose the one with the wooden handle I just like that so what I've also done because I didn't want to I have to know which way is up I wrote on here in Sharpie an E for Ellen and an S for soap, so I know that when I look at it, it's going to read this way. <laughs> I don't think it matters that much, but anyway, for me, I have that on there for a little cheat. So, with all that being said, these are all cleaned up. I'm going to spritz the just a couple times. And the first couple are wet, but the um, alcohol dries very quickly, so it's not a big issue. Let me move this off because it jiggles. Okay. So we just put it on there and one tap and I can felt it didn't move much so I'm going to do two and that's about how deep I like it. So I'm going to, these will be two tap soaps. Sometimes they're one tap soaps. These ones are two. So 
about four, and now I'm going to spritz again. I like the depth on these. Um, let me show you this one. I hit a little harder and you can see it's very deep. It still looks good but it can make the soap kind of mush. So I think this one's crisper. So this is my ideal depth how I like to stamp it. And now this one, I didn't stamp it deep enough, but there's enough of a ridge in there where I can set this back on and feel when it's in there. I think, there we go. And give it another tap, and now it's deeper in there. And I've had great luck this method. Pretty much every time they come out great and I'm very happy with it. So for all of those who've been asking and wondering, that's how I do it. Thanks for watching.